Hi, this is Ray Warner. It's time now to go to film schools. We bring in film study professor Joe Fortunato. And Joe, we're going to go to a movie that you either really like or you don't like today. We're going back and taking a look at the Keanu Reeves movie, The Matrix. Hello, Ray. Hello, everybody. This is a, uh, was a pretty big movie at, at its time. Uh, the Matrix in 1999, released March 31st, 1999. It was written and directed by Lana and Lily Wachowski. I always have trouble saying their name, but I hope I got that right. Uh, starring Keanu Reeves, as you mentioned. Also, Lawrence, Lawrence Fishburne and Carrie Ann Moss. Uh, the film won four Oscars, uh, mostly in the tech area, for editing, sound, sound effects editing, and visual effects. It was nominated in a quirky category that they had back then called Best Cheer Moments, which uh, I don't know, I think that was a one-off thing they did at the Academy, but it was nominated. Uh, and it, it was the only film that won all four awards in the categories it was nominated that year, uh, which is the largest clean sweep of any nominated uh, film that I mean, this is getting convoluted already. It was not nominated for Best Picture, so it wasn't nominated for Best Picture, but won every other award it was up for. Um, the visual effects, of course, is what a lot of people remember from this film, and yeah. uh, they comprise, you know, roughly about 20% of the entire film. The bullet time sequence, that's the, what it's sort of come to be known as, which is what everybody remembers, the sort of slow motion, uh, Tai Chi type moves that Keanu Reeves does uh, to uh, uh, evade the bullets and do some other kind of cool looking things. That sequence was actually some of the least labor intensive to shoot, uh, ironically, because the scenes involved uh, an array of still cameras taking photographs, which were later digitally arranged into the sequence in the film. So to take the shots uh, you know, with still cameras wasn't really all that hard. So they were able to shoot that sequence in only about 90 minutes. Uh, but of course, the technology to stitch it all together was what really made that, that sequence pop. And, and by the middle of uh, just a handful of years later, uh, by 2002, that bullet time sequence had been spoofed in over 20 different other movies. So uh, it was really uh, uh, something that caught the, the culture by storm. Um, and most of the, the, the visual effects were done by CGI rather than miniatures, which is kind of uncommon at that time of production. Um, so it was, uh, you know, really, again, really uh, uh, noted for its uh, its um, production values and its special effects. Now, to prepare for the scene where Neo, uh, Neo is the character of Keanu Reeves play, wakes up in the pod, uh, Reeves had to lose 15 pounds and shave his whole body to give him that, that sort of a emaci emaciated, just, just newborn uh, kind of look. Yeah, film school today, Joe Fortunato on The Matrix. And Joe, when you look at Keanu Reeves, you know, things started off quickly for him when you talk about speed. And then this was like the second phase and John Wick is third phase. But, you know, it was kind of a resurgence in bringing Keanu Reeves back to the to the big screen again. Yeah, and um, I mean, you know, as you had mentioned, he, he definitely had some hits in, in uh, speed, and uh, that's probably my favorite film of his. I'm not the biggest Keanu Reeves, if I if I'm being honest with it, uh, fan uh, there, but uh, uh, you know, he was um, not the first choice, as we often go and talk about casting. Will Smith was actually approached to play the role, uh, but he turned it down so he could star in Wild Wild West. <laughs> which was a complete bomb, as some people might remember. Yeah. Uh, and uh, even though he, he later said that he wasn't mature enough as an actor, uh, if he had taken that role and kind of would have messed it up. So he, he says, hey, Keanu got the right role, even though uh, the role that Will Smith actually uh, took was uh, you know, not all that great. Um, there were you know other people uh, that were thought of or considered. Uh, Johnny Depp, Brad Pitt, Val Kilmer, uh, all were uh, considered. Tom Cruise was considered for the role. Uh, Leo, Leo DiCaprio also considered for the role. So, you know, so again, the who's who of Hollywood at that time uh, were definitely uh, looked at before um, uh, Keanu actually won the role. Some other cast since we're all talking about casting, uh, some other fun casting notes. Jillian Anderson turned down the role of Trinity, which eventually went to Carrie Ann Moss. Uh, and ironically, David Duchovny turned down the role of Neo uh, to star in The X-Files. So both David Duchovny and Jillian Anderson could have been in this film uh, pre-X-Files. Uh, and, uh, you know, what, what, how that, that would have turned out. Uh, for the role of Morpheus, 
uh, Gary Oldman was considered, as well as Samuel Jackson. Even Russell Crowe uh, turned down. He said, I just don't get it. I couldn't get page past page 42, and it just wasn't interesting to me. So, uh, you know, that, that was another thing. A lot of people were confused by this movie when they were trying to sell it. So when they were trying to sell this to the studios, uh, they had a hard time and, until they created over 600 storyboards that, that had the visuals with it. Then that's when the executives started, started getting excited and kind of, since they could visualize what the movie was about, uh, they took it. But when they were trying to conceptualize it just based on the idea, like, eh, I don't think this is for us. <laughs> you know, it's a movie, right, Joe? Wouldn't you kind of agree, at least in my little neighborhood, is that you either were a huge fan of Matrix or it wasn't your thing. There was very little middle ground when it came to this movie. I can see you saying that. I don't know that I recall that being my experience or not, but, but uh, you know, the, the I think if we looked at the whole, um, you know, I, I want to say trilogy, but the whole uh, subsequent Matrix, 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 I don't know, what's the plural of Matrix? <laughs> <laughs> Matrix matrixes. But uh, I, I, the rest of the films were terrible, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, I, I think there's, there's those fans that really love the whole uh, um, series of Matrix films and others that, that feel like you said that no, not for me. Uh, I, you know, the Matrix itself, the original one, uh, you know, certainly was very popular, but I do think it was sort of polarizing. Uh, if you didn't get it, you didn't get it. Agree. Film School Today with film study professor Joe Fortunato, The Matrix. You can go back and listen to it on WAKR.